Hi, I'm Peyton Dagg, and welcome to Project Strange. I didn't know much about engineering or physics, and I'm on a mission to learn from industry professionals about what it takes to build the structures around us, whether it be our apartment buildings or the bridges we cross on the way to work. Gravity is super important to all aspects of structural engineering, so make sure you stick around to learn about the ins and outs of gravity to better understand structure building too. History. Over 2,300 years ago, the Greek philosopher Aristotle had a theory that the speed of a free-falling body is directly proportional to its total weight. This theory was widespread and believed for over 1,800 years, until a group of scientists decided to challenge Aristotle's theory. They dropped balls of different sizes, weights, and materials off of towers around them, one being the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa, which is an engineering situation for another episode. In challenging Aristotle's theory, the group of scientists brought forward a new and correct idea that the weight does not affect the speed in which an object falls. It falls at the same speed regardless. In the mid-16th century, over a hundred years before Newton published his theory on gravity, Spanish-Dominican priest Domingo de Soto became the first to state that an object in freefall accelerates uniformly. Did you know that surfers only exist because of the moon? Well, that and their gnarly spirits. The gravitational force of the moon acting upon Earth is what causes our seas and tides to move, creating waves. As the Earth continues to rotate every day, the water in our oceans is pulled towards whichever side is closest to the moon and its gravity. That's why sometimes we have high tide and low tide. Cowabunga, dude! Anyways, three years later in 1554, Italian mathematician Gian Battista Benedetti predicted that two objects of the same material but of different weights would fall and accelerate at the same rate. In the summer of 1666, a young man was sitting under an apple tree. He was gazing upon the sky and contemplating the universe as he liked to do when an apple fell from the tree he sat below. This led to a spark in his mind. He realized that the force pulling the apple to the earth is the same force keeping us stuck to the ground, what we know as gravity. The young man, Isaac Newton, hypothesized that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force that depends on their mass and the distance between them. Newton's apple story has become an iconic symbol of scientific discovery and the power of observation. For both you and I to learn more, my friend Kyle will explain what gravity is and how it relates to structural engineering. The interview. What is gravity? <laughs> gravity is a mutual attraction between two objects with mass. So, for instance, these two Lego blocks have a gravitational force between them. We don't see it, we don't feel it. We have a, uh, a gravitational attraction between us. Every object with mass does. The gravitational force is dependent on the mass and it's also dependent on how close they are together. Where we do feel gravity is when we have very, very large masses such as the planet Earth moon, sun, the masses that these objects have create enough gravitational force that we can feel it. The larger the mass, the larger the force, and the closer we are to the mass, the larger the force. How do we use gravity in everyday life? Well, we're sitting here on the ground and we're not floating, so gravity is obviously holding us on the ground while we drive down the road keeps our car on the road. When we drop our phone and it smashes all over the ground, that's due to gravity. But it's something we need. We wouldn't live without it. Our bodies would actually not be able to live without the force of gravity. Everything falls when it is affected by gravity. Such as this Lego block. Everywhere. We see gravity <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> How do you use gravity in structural engineering? Okay, I'm going to build an example of a bridge. So here's my bridge. In designing this bridge, we have gravitational forces or loads uh, due to gravity acting on the bridge. For instance, the self-weight of the bridge transfers down through to the ground. If we have a truck driving across, we have a live load, the weight of the truck on the bridge and that load's distributed. So we have to ensure that the elements that we are designing can withstand the loads due to the weight of the objects, including itself. Why did you want to be an engineer? Uh, well, to put my great Lego building <laughs> skills to work. <laughs> no, I, I enjoy problem solving. I like to take theories and use them in a practical way to solve problems. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite formula? Fx equals the absolute x. And it basically means stay positive, always. Oh.
Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that one, Kyle. Yes, <laughs> it's amazing. It's a really cool <laughs> equation. How fast is gravity? On Earth, 9.81 meters per second squared. It's an acceleration. Where did you learn that? Like in engineering school? In high school physics. Oh. <laughs> is there a place in the world that has like less gravity or more gravity than other places in the world? So if, if I were to sit on this desk, I would actually have less gravity than on the floor. Very, very small amounts, so obviously we wouldn't feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to like the top floor of a skyscraper, mm -hmm. you would technically have less force of gravity acting on you than on the ground. Okay. If you're on Mount Everest, basically the farther away you are from the center of the earth, mm -hmm. the less gravity you have okay. acting on you. Oh, wait, I wasn't ready. Gravity. We could sing a song. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't gravity like different on the equator? Uh, it would, I don't know. By the way, gravity is slightly weaker around the equator because the earth is not a perfect sphere and it bulges out a bit more there. Duh. Anyways, what have we learned? We learned that gravity is a mutual attraction between two objects with mass. Gravitational force is dependent on the mass and the distance between the objects. The larger the mass, the larger the force, and the closer we are, the larger the force. In structural engineering, the buildings and bridges have to be able to withstand the weights that are established by gravity and forced upon their structures, like a truck on a bridge. Gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared. The farther away you are from the Earth, the less gravity you'll have, like at the top of Mount Everest. This doesn't mean you'll float away, but it means there's less gravity pulling you down, so technically you have less weight. Don't get too excited though, that doesn't mean that diet worked. Your mass is still the same. A special thank you to Kyle for teaching me about gravity, and a special thank you to you for watching until the end of the video. I hope you learned as much as I did. While you're still here, subscribe to our channel to learn more about structural engineering with me. I'm Peyton Dagg, and this was another episode of Project Strange. Don't forget to enjoy the process. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs>